Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So, that's not what I say. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, as you can tell, I am in this room. This is my college room. Um, so, a few weeks ago I did my last video, last video here, um, talking about my college testimony. And I was packing up and moving up out at that point. But I just took, like, the essential stuff with me because at that point we were still supposed to come back for, like, a month. But since school is officially canceled, it is time for me to move out. Um, so this is really sad because this is my last move out. And it's going to have to happen really quick because my uncle is coming tomorrow with a trailer to put all my stuff on and to move back home so, I have less than 24 hours to pack up my whole apartment and move out. I did not bring my camera with me, so this is on my phone. I regret not bringing it. I should have. But, this is going to be a, I think I'm going to call it like, moving out of my apartment in 24 hours or something like that. So, uh, I'm really sad. I'm probably going to cry a lot. That's why I don't have my makeup. Um, but, I'm going to show you everything one last time before I start moving um, and then I'll keep you updated as we go so let's go so pretty much everything is still in place because when I packed up and left the first time I just packed like clothes and essential stuff so all the decorations are still up and everything it's just like all the drawers and stuff are empty but you wouldn't have seen that anyway so it just looks normal to you <laughs> Um, the living room and kitchen area is a little bit bare because my roommate has already moved her stuff out, um, besides the couches, so it's just what's left of my decorations, um, and then some kitchen stuff in here, but it's very bare over here because all of hers are gone, so let's get started. I just unloaded my car, so I've been saving boxes for like a year just so I would have plenty to move out. And then I brought like three laundry baskets. They're like stacked in there. And two suitcases and another little box. So I'm thinking surely I have enough to pack everything because there's like boxes in boxes in boxes. Um, but we shall see. You would be surprised how much stuff I have here. So let's start filling these boxes. Okay, I changed shirts because that long sleeve was so hot. But I just got like everything, I guess I shouldn't have done this facing forward. I've gotten like everything off the walls. Oh shoot, I forgot that. Um, yeah, but everything's off the walls in the bathroom too. Um, except for, I just realized, well, I realized that's up there. Um, I remembered that I got Aaron to hang that up for me, my roommate's boyfriend, because he's tall. And so now that I'm here alone, I don't know how I'm going to get that down because there are like tacks on either side of it right there at the very top and I can't reach that. Even I tried standing like on the bed, I tried standing on the dresser, it's not going to work so I'll let you know what I figure out. Okay, I have a plan that I've been putting all these decorations on my bed and they're going to have to come off. textbooks and stuff in it it's not all that sturdy but I'm gonna give it a go and if I die in this video I hope my family makes some money off of this on like America's Funniest Home Videos or something here we go holy oh my gosh this is so stupid ah. Ah. okay I can reach it okay 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 Oh my god. 
gosh, how did I get that in the wall? Oh, actually, I think I hammered these in. They're just thumbtacks, but I think I hammered them. So that's why they're in so tight. I'm gonna have to get down and go get a hammer to pull these out. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to do this again. Ah, I'm gonna die. Ah! is can I get up there with this hammer in my hand without hurting myself? I think I've decided that I'm going to, why do I have my hands in my shirt? I'm going to keep that map and put it up. Hopefully I have a daughter one day. Put that up in her nursery. That would be so cute. Okay. Okay, so now that all the decorations are down, I think what I've decided, I've got this whole basket of blankets. I don't know why I have like a thousand blankets, but I think I'm going to wrap like all the breakable stuff in it. And then put it in a suitcase. Because I don't need the suitcase for clothes. Because I've already taken home clothes. So, I think that might be a good idea. So, I just posted a few things on sale for Facebook that I feel like it's pointless for me to take with me. Because I'm not going to use. Um, and in a matter of five minutes, I made $21. So, but I wasn't very smart about it. And I sold this little ottoman thing. But it has so much junk in it. And so... I've got to hurry and go through this before this person tries to pick this up. So, let's go. I think I made a little bit of a mess, but... <coughs> Hope none of you are wearing headphones. Thumbs air horn. Should I keep it? So, my little pile is dwindling, which is good. And I've been stepping all over this pile. And now, look right there. There's just this razor chilling in the pile. Like, I could have stepped on this thing and sliced my foot and then had to go be in the hospital with all the coronavirus patients. I mean, what was I thinking just throwing that in there like that? So I'm just laying on my floor because it just happens, you know. Um, I actually just went and had dinner with my dad. My dad works in and out of Troy. He's a truck driver, but he drops his loads or gets his loads here or whatever. Um... So I had dinner with him, probably the last one of my college career, which is really sad, and I definitely cried, not in front of him. Um, but, uh, yeah, I need to get going because it's 640, and I feel like I've, like, barely done anything. Um, we did send my dining room table home with him, and my bar stools, and my office chair that goes to my desk right here, so... A few things out of the way, which is nice, um, especially the kitchen table because that's big. So, I mean, kind of making progress. I've made $50 now, so that's good. Um, but yeah, <sighs> gotta keep going. Quick little room update. It looks worse, but I feel like in these cases it does have to get better or get worse before it gets better. But I will say, like, it's... We're further than it looks because everything is like off the top that was like decorating. Now everything on top is just stuff that was inside. So nothing is inside these things anymore. Like, well, clearly there's a couple things, but like everything is out. So really there's just like weird odds and ends that like don't really have a place. So I'm just going to put all of them in a box or throw them away. I had a huge box here that I was just, well, dumping trash in and I just took it to the dumpster so, like, the room is honestly kind of almost done. Like, those shirts are just going to all come out in the way they are and just be put in the car like that. So, like, there's some stuff in a laundry basket up there i got to get through. But, like, other than that, like, the room is kind of almost done because the trailer for, like, all the furniture is not coming until tomorrow. 
So I've just got to get all this stuff like put into a box, you know? So we're getting close. The living room is also a mess, but in the same way, like all of this is just boxes that I've been like sorting through to look at sizes and decide like what size I want to put different things in. But like everything's off the walls, the curtains are down, all the like um, decorations are down and the couches are my roommates. So they're not going anywhere. And like the kitchen is clean, but none of the cabinets have been um, done. So, I mean, we're getting kind of close. It's 8.49, um, 8.50. So maybe I'll stay up till like midnight and then finish in the morning. My mom and my uncle are coming at one. So, eh, I don't know. I'm tired, but I gotta keep going. Okay, um, so believe it or not, I'm shooting this only 10 minutes later but it looks so much better. You can see where I just drug my suitcase through there. Um, but I challenged myself to see how much I could get done in 10 minutes, like really fast. And so I packed up a lot of books and stuff into one little box and um, got all my glass stuff put away in the suitcase with blankets all around it. So that was a successful 10 minutes. I wish I would have done a time lapse, but I didn't. So um Maybe I'll do it again in a few minutes. I don't know. And sorry I look so, like, swollen-faced. It's a combination of the dust and not having my allergy medicine and a few tears. So. so I'm very close to finishing my room. I've just got tape up here that I'm using to tape all the packages. And I found a lot while I was cleaning out, so that's good. Um, I'm just going to leave the clothes there until they're ready to go in the car. But I got the, um, the like, bookshelf slash, like, dresser thing that was under it. Got that out. Everything on top is out. The shoes are packed away. Um, my bed is just what I need to sleep and garbage. There's a few little things left on there. Um, but this is the major project. So we've got to get that done. And then I think I'm going to try to do the bathroom. And that might be it for tonight. <laughs> something to know about this little apartment room I know it looks big and this is gonna make me sound so spoiled maybe I am um, <laughs> but it was this room was way smaller than my room at home especially the closet I have two closets at home both of which are like decent sized and so I have stuff everywhere like everywhere because I don't know I just didn't have room for it and so I kept all my bags under the bed and they've all over time just gotten pushed over so much that I cannot reach them. So I'm going to like wiggle under the bed and try to grab it with my toes. Um, so I thought this might be fun content for you guys to watch. So, okay, I think I'm going to go in like this first. Okay, wiggle. My butt's a little too big. Can't go past my honey. <laughs> I'm stretching my toes. I can't get it. Oh my gosh, I'm like right there. My foot is like, oh, I got a bag, I got a bag. <laughs> That's tiny. Okay, let's keep going. Let me see. If I can like put a hanger in my toes and grab it with a hanger. Okay, I got this. I'm gonna use this as a hook. Okay, ouch, that kind of hurts. Okay, Ugh. back under there. Oh man, I'm getting it stuck on something. Oh, there's like a pole for the bed hooks. Okay, what if I try going on my belly, like belly it up, and I go farther that way, oh, maybe, oh, there's like an extra bar right here, so I'd probably go further, go down this way, okay, ow, ouch, it went into my side, okay, let's see, I lost the hanger, okay, new plan, I'm gonna go in sideways and use my arm because that makes way more sense. 
It's not as long as my legs, but I can control it better. So if I can even get it over there, which I can slide a little bit. Oh no, I just threw the hanger accidentally. Ugh. Okay. I can't reach the hanger now. I've really screwed up. Okay, wait. I got it. Okay. Um, like, I need something longer. <gasps> a broom. A broom. Let me get a broom. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, it's because, like, all my other bags are in it. That's why it was so heavy. Okay, you've witnessed that ma madness. Okay guys, I'm gonna tell you I have a lot of stuff. I have a lot of stuff. So this is everything that's already all packed up and ready to go, which that's a lot of stuff. So I'm pretty proud of that. That looks funny, but I've just got the drawers taped closed because they tend to wanna to fly out. Um, so I'll update you um, on the room. It looks really good. That's trash. These are like this random speaker I'm using because I forgot my other speakers. Um, and then just like stuff I might need tomorrow, like my alarm clock, tools and all that. The bed has everything off of it besides what I'm going to use to sleep tonight. I put away the extra pillows. Closet you've already seen. And bathroom is looking good. I've got that little black shelf that you saw with the yellow tape is out. I took down the little three tier thing. Um, I was, that's the box for this shelf. I was going to take it apart because I thought it just like slid together, but it's actually all screwed in. So I've got to come up with a plan on how to get that home. But I mean, everything is already in boxes and I took everything out of the shower and took the shower curtain down. So like it's done really because it's all boxed up, but I just got to figure out that little thing. Okay. It is now exactly midnight. Um, so I, oh, I meant to do a time lapse. I got all the food out of the pantry. So all that's left is this box down here. And basically that just has a bunch of old school stuff in it, like notebooks and, um, notes I've taken and stuff. So I'm going to go through it tomorrow. I really don't need any of it, but maybe there's some classes that might be helpful that I might keep, but that's going to take me forever to go through. So I'm just going to leave that there. But all the food is cleaned out, so, and honestly, like I said, all this is just boxes, so it's really not stuff. So, the living room is pretty much done, my room is pretty much done, besides the furniture, which I said the trailer's coming tomorrow. Um, I've not started the kitchen at all, um, but if that's all I have to do tomorrow, I have to be done by one when my mom and my uncle get here. So I think I'm doing pretty good. I think that's a lot to have accomplished today. So I feel pretty good with that. So I think I'm gonna go to bed because I'm exhausted. Um, but yeah, I'll check back in tomorrow. So right out that window is the parking lot and I sold my blackout curtains. So now it's like bright in here. And I don't know if I can sleep. Good morning guys. Oh, so day two, um, even though today's like only half a day, like my mom's coming in a few hours. Um, I could not sleep last night. It's like 7.30 in the morning. So I just went ahead and got up. I've already stripped the bed of the sheets and put those in the wash so that I can take clean sheets home. Um, I've cleaned out the fridge. So all of that food is gone. Um, yeah, so I really got to get going because there is still a significant amount of stuff to do. So, let's go. Okay, I'm making good progress on the kitchen so far, but I've been doing all the non-breakable stuff, so I can kind of just throw it all in a box and it doesn't matter. But I'm about to start up here, and these are all, like, my glasses and stuff. Um, like, drinking glasses, and then over here we have, like, glass bowls and plates. So, I think what I've decided to do for these, because I have no packing paper, as I've said, is I have lots of dish towels 
So I think maybe you just like layer stuff up with that. And I, I guess I might have a couple blankets left somewhere. So just start with that and see how that goes. So I'm going to turn you guys on a time lapse. <laughs> Like, I have so much stuff that's already packed up. Um, but I've got, like, one thing down there. All the cleaning supplies are still under here, but I'm probably going to pack those last so I can, like, actually clean up a little bit. And then this is my, like, biggest project I have left. It's, like, all the pots and pans and Pyrex and stuff. And that's going to be a doozy to pack up. But I'm doing great on time. It's not even 9.30 yet. It's, like, 9.20 something, so it's getting close. Um, but yeah, I gotta get that done, and then, like, in my room, I've gotta figure out how to get my, like, mattress topper. Last year, I folded it up and put a belt around it to keep it tight, but I've already taken my belts home, and I didn't think about that. So, like, that's gotta be done, but I got everything loaded up in the bathroom as well. Um, that's just my stuff that I used last night, like, face wash and all that, so I'll do that. Um, but yeah, everything's coming together. Just a few things left in the kitchen and then gotta like clean up everything, like all the like little messes and garbage and stuff. But I think I could be done in like an hour or two. So that's good because they'll be here in like three and a half hours. So doing good on time. I do have to go deliver a few things that people have bought. So I think by the time I do all that, it's gonna be almost time for them to get here and it's gonna be perfect. So let's see. Okay, so let's take a look. I should probably turn this around. Okay, everything is out of there except for I washed a couple towels that were still in the room, so they're in there. All the stuff is a couch, that's my roommate's. Some boxes that she's gonna take. I need to put that chair with my stuff. I'm gonna go deliver some shirts. There's all the stuff. It's so crazy how much stuff I have. So the kitchen is completely emptied out. I know it doesn't look much different, but all the cabinets are empty. Um, got a few things to go deliver here. Um, this is also completely finished. And then I was trying to sell that. Nobody's took it, so or taken it, so don't know what to do with it yet. This is completely done. Got all the sheets off and washed. My stuff for the night is packed up. Everything's good. And the bathroom is completely empty and very echoey because there's nothing in it. So I think the last thing I'm gonna do, I've got two hours until they get here. Um, so I'm gonna go deliver shirts and then maybe try to pack my car a little bit. But I'm gonna take this headboard apart, I think. That might just be one less thing we have to do when they get there. So everything is done. All this stuff is back there. Um, and I took the bed apart. But my mom should be here any minute with my uncle. So I went and picked us all up cookout. You can see I got the bed all apart. Um, so I'm about to eat because I've not eaten a single thing and it is 108 so I'm pretty hungry so I'm gonna eat this cookout my last cookout and then hopefully be on the road soon uh, this is super weird it's going so for I'm about to wash my hands and grab them so Ready to go? Yeah, baby. Thank you, Uncle Ryan. You're it's like a week later today, but that's gonna be the end of this video. I'm all moved back home. So now be prepared. Coming soon, there will be a series of vlogs of renovating my new place. So stay tuned for that. But for now, that's the end of this video. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.